Hi, I'm Taylor Goodman, Director of Hardware at OpenTrans. I'm going to explain some of the hardware design decisions we made in the OT2 to create the most affordable, high-precision liquid handling robot ever sold. First, let's take a look at the overall gantry system. Our goal was to create a rigid and precise structure using affordable manufacturing techniques. The main structural components, including the gantry, the frame, and the bridge, are high-precision extruded and CNC'd aluminum, creating a rigid design that can be built at high scale and at a low price. Additional structural integrity comes from the two sheet metal side panels on either side of the machine. The precision aluminum deck is machined to a high tolerance and is removable to allow for additional configurations in the future. The robot is enclosed in clear acrylic and comes with covers for the vents in the floor if you'd like full enclosure. The door has a friction hinge to stay open when you are loading and unloading the deck, but for safety, the robot will not run if the door is open. Next, I want to tell you about our new robotic pipettes. The pipettes are the business end of the machine, and we took a lot of care to ensure accuracy and precision are comparable to machines 10 times more expensive than the OT2. You can easily install them into the machine with an Allen wrench we've included with the robot. The OT2 can hold two pipettes, single channel or eight channel. It doesn't matter which side of the head the pipettes are mounted to, and you can use two multi-channels or two single channels at the same time if you prefer. Here's a look inside the pipette. We use a robust micro-stepping motor attached to a precision molded volume chamber. The volume chamber is a cylinder with a piston that converts the linear motion of the motor into the desired volumetric output of the tip attached below. The tip cones are made from a hard composite plastic designed to put on and eject hundreds of thousands of tips throughout its lifetime. You can learn a lot more about our pipettes, including the specific linear millimeter to microliter calculations for each volume range on our white papers found in the pipettes page. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope this was helpful for you to better understand our new lab robot. If you have any more questions about the OT2 hardware, you can look at our documentation or chat with one of us online. Thanks so much for watching.